Hello and welcome to a new season of Sailing With Us. In this season we're going to be looking at uh, folding propellers, how to change the exhaust on a Volvo Penta and just pottering around the east coast again. Spring has been a long time coming and it was a dream come true watching Blue Solitaire being put back in the water where she belongs. As usual, the first few visits to the boat involves fitting out and getting ready for the summer season. Hoisting our daughter Jenny up the mast has become a pre-season tradition. We always replace the masthead unit and she checks out the rigging at the same time. This is our stainless steel diesel tank with the fuel gauge sensor removed. So here I am in the starboard aft locker uh, with my looks like a Ken Dog tickling stick but with a sponge on the end and this is to clean inside the diesel fuel tank. Uh, just make sure it's nice and spot this before the season starts. That's the sludge that's come out of the bottom of the tank. It's a bit of a pain of a job to get out but uh, you see the two different levels there where they've separated. I think it's a, a job well worth doing though. Test running the engine, I noticed some rust spots under the exhaust mixer elbow. Time to change the exhaust, I think. So, the before and after experiment, I'm going to increase the revs to about 2,500 RPM. There are also signs of sit around the outlet skin fitting. liquid see if it helps well the hose is proving to be a bit too tight so I'm gonna to have to switch to a plan B and cut a couple of inches off I notice there's a bit of corrosion, I can just see it around the, uh, that's the thermostat housing. Uh, so I'm going to replace the o-ring in there as well. It just pulls out a bit of a wiggle. There it goes. See that? And inside there is the o-ring. So I'm going to replace that as well. The new mixer elbow comes with uh, well, just a cast iron finish so I've sprayed it to uh, Volvo Penta Green and um, I've kept the gasket face clear of any paint so it stands a chance of sealing. Here's a quick comparison between new and old, or as an optician would say, better or worse. So we're all back together again, let's uh, go and fire her up and see what happens, see if we've got any leaks.
I'm pleased with that, there's hardly any soot. As an engineer, I love to analyse failed components. Back in my workshop, I dissect the elbow in two. You can see from this cross section, the exhaust port has been restricted by nearly 50% with carbon buildup. The water gallery is also choked. I decided to do a crude stress test on the corroded wall. There is very little strength left in the cast iron, it just crumbled. To summarise, this is an easy DIY job and well worth checking out. We hope you found this episode informative, but perhaps a bit boring. But if not, then come back and join us next time when we finally get out and have some fun sailing. <laughs>